Hey guys, Dr. Robin with Sports Chiropractic. And oh, has that ever been you at the gym? Or perhaps has this ever been you when you're holding your children or just anywhere bending over to pick up a dryer sheet where something just grabs you in an intense pain? Well, great video for you today of the do's and don'ts of things that you can do when that happens. First thing that you could do is grab a foam roller or a lacrosse ball. And basically what you want to do is gently get onto that area that hurts and apply some pressure for two to three minutes. A don't is you don't want that pain to be over a seven out of 10 on your perceived pain scale when you're rolling on there. What that can do is actually increase the pain and increase the guarding in that area. Guarding is when the muscles lock up and tighten to protect an area from moving. So if you have too much pain in an area from it may be too much pressure from this, it can actually lock down that area. Do avoid quick, sudden movements. So that's getting up and down from a chair, getting in and out of your car, getting up from laying down in bed. When you have a quick, sudden movement, your muscles can respond with a recoil or a tightening effect to protect you from that sudden change of direction. Do stretch, but don't overstretch. So if we stretch a muscle, muscles, when they respond to overstretching, they like to recoil, and that's what we call the recoil effect here. Something that just happened to me recently is I had a strain in the gym, and I thought I was better because I took some ibuprofen, which is another do. It's okay to take some ibuprofen on a short term, uh, but it gave me a false sense of healing. I thought I was better, so what did I do? I overstretched, and it felt like somebody punched me as hard as they could right in the back and I had a hard time breathing because I had a rib head out of place. So when you're thinking about stretching, you never want to stretch maybe more than 70% of that muscle's ability to stretch because if you're not healed and you stretch to 100%, it can have that recoil tightening effect and you want to make sure you eliminate that because that can set you back and restart the healing process. Do not compensate. What that means is when you have an injury, a lot of times it may pull you in a certain direction and now you're starting to use other areas in a different way than they're normally used to. For me, when my mid back got really tight, it pulled me this way and I started walking a lot on, uh, on this side a lot more. So I knew right away it's time for me to get checked out from a massage and from Dr. Chris and it helped me out tremendously. Um, but you do not want to compensate because that can lead to other injuries. Do move. Movement helps to pump out swelling out of an injured area. However, the problem is if you're injured, it may be contraindicated or not advised to move that area because you may make it worse. So in those instances when you can't move, uh, we have something here called uh, H-Wave, which is a device that helps to move the area for you, and I'll demonstrate it. But this is basically gonna move my arm for me without me having to do it. And it feels really weird, but this will actually move me thousands of times in a, just a short period of time and pump the swelling out without me actually having to injure the area even more. This feels really weird. Do compress the injured area. So this is actually pre-wrap, which we used to, before we put tape on, but just to show you, you can take an ace bandage or any sort of brace and wrap an injured area. What that's gonna do is it's gonna stabilize and protect it, but it's also gonna help the edema from pooling and collecting in that area to help get rid of the swelling. Do elevate. If you have the opportunity to elevate the injured area, it's going to help to drain it and help to get rid of some of the edema that can pull and collect. Very important. So overall, I hope we helped you give you some ideas of what you can do if you have an acute injury, acute spasm. But the last thing is definitely seek help from a qualified professional. If you're local in the area, we would love to help you. If you're somewhere else, please email us at that email address below and we can always find a qualified person uh, to help you. But if it's generally in a lot of pain, it's never bad to go in right away. If you catch something early, uh, it's gonna heal very quick and, and, and fast. Uh, if you let it go a long time, it can prolong the healing process. And if something's going on for two or three days, it's definitely worth getting checked out so you avoid those compensation type injuries.